giving you the answers? Oh no, ma'am. She's not giving me the answers. Forcing, maybe, but not giving. Patricia, how many times does 25 go anti 75? Charles, Charles, did you hear my question? Ma'am? Oh no, ma'am. I guess there was an airplane flying over or something. Patricia, Patricia, are you asleep? How many times does 25 go anti 75? I'm awake, I'm awake. The answer is 12. No. That is not correct. The answer is six. Three. Three is correct. You contradicted me, Chuck. You made a fool out of me in front of the whole class. Well, six was the wrong answer. I had to say three. You don't like me, do you, Chuck? Move your elbow, Chuck. It's in my way. I can't write with your elbow in my way, Chuck. Stop wriggling around so much. You make the whole desk move. <sighs> Size can start arguments too, Chuck. <clears throat> move over, Chuck. You're taking too much room. <clears throat> Johan! Sorry, ma'am. My desk partner here isn't very coordinated. Showing your eraser, Chuck. It bugs me. Stop drumming your fingers on the desk, Chuck. That grosses me out. And don't hassle me with your sides, Chuck. Don't breathe through your mouth, Chuck. Don't lick your fingers when you turn the pages, Chuck. And don't scrape your feet on the desk. Will you stop criticizing me?